Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. This is the cutting room floor. The cutting room floor, as you see, is a product of Smyrna Presbyterian Church, where once a week we sit down with our pastor and discuss with him or go over with him what was in the previous Sunday's Lord's Day sermon. And I usually say, hey, Joel, what was on the cutting room floor? So uh, first of all, Joel, welcome back. How are you doing? Hey, doing very well. Glad to uh, glad to be here. Glad to be with all the people amongst the people. <laughs> I want to be a, a pastor of the people. So thankful for uh, for all of you out there that that tune in to our our ramblings here on the, the cutting room floor. So uh, yeah, yeah. we can't say that you're getting the best of the best. <laughs> you no, you're getting, to get the scraps here. So. Oh, you're getting the best. Tune, man. You're getting tune the, best. the preaching. That's hopefully the best of the best. So I, I do see it on the screen there. Appreciate you. You doing that, putting that up there, Jason. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. Maybe just a, hey, a quick word. Uh, I get this once in a while. Why do we do, do the robes? Um, oh, okay. Good question. That's uh, that's one of those things that's kind of fallen by the wayside in, in recent years, for sure. But something mm -hmm. that we have kept, not just for tradition, but, um, you know, the aspect of <clears throat> the, the robe kind of distinguishes the pastor in his official function and role compared to when he's in a, a different function or task. So for example, uh, we use this in other professions as well. Um, and when you go to see your doctor, typically you know they're the doctor, why? Because uh, they are wearing the, the white coat, right? That's right. Uh, That's when fair. You see your doctor out on the street. You probably shouldn't ask the the doctor then uh, about to, you know what's going on with your toe. Uh, they probably don't want to know about your toe at that time. But when they're wearing the white coat, they're they're functioning in that role as as an official uh, doctor and and therefore qualified to give medical advice then okay. and there. Same thing with uh, you know you go to the to the courtroom, which uh, you know I know you've been there many times, uh, Jason. Hey. Oh, oh man! So. <laughs> wow! Oh man. man! Just got thrown under the bus. Under now, the bus. They, Jason is a, a fine citizen. I can testify to that. I mean, I even gave wow. you like a, a a camera angle change on the video, man. Look wow. at that, man! Look at that! Wow! Like, I can see those notes, man. Yeah. There's no no iPad there. That's it. And and look, notes. Oh, go back. Go back. Wait, what was that? Go back. Look at that. Hey, I got it. Got a uh, got, got my watch there too. I saw see? that. Yeah. That, yeah. It's uh, it's solely ignored. So don't don't <laughs> just want everybody right. to know out there. It's up there, but does it get looked at? Of course not. So. Oh, okay. We get, we get done when we get done, but you know, <laughs> just just so the people feel better that I, I actually am paying attention to the time. There, you know, um, there is a clock. I love it. I but, love uh, it. All right, go back to the previous discussion before you distracted me. Hey, um, a judge, you know, again, he, he puts on the black robe because he's functioning in his official role as a judge when he's in the in the courtroom. Mm -hmm. So too, the pastor when he is preaching, uh, you know, it's no longer in my case just Joe Blow, uh, just giving you his thinking, his thoughts, his advice. Uh, he's, he's functioning as the the proclaimer of of God's word, and so therefore there is an, uh, a function of the role of pastor of preacher that has a a, a weightiness to it, an authority. Um, you know, we're we're called to be ambassadors for Christ. Yep. And, and so therefore, an ambassador comes with uh, all the weight and authority and message of the one that sent him. And so too, when we're in the in the pulpit, uh, it's not about us. It's not about our message, um, and, and it's surely not about our authority because we have none. But as much as it is uh, the word of God and uh, preaching and proclaiming it, then then it should be received as as such. And so it also um, distinguishes the the pastor uh, at at that time and and in that place, functioning in in that role. So as well as you know. Uh, it, it saves me a lot of money and not having right to buy, buy uh, you know, fancy suits every, every week. So, you know, I can, I can wear the same shirt almost every week and nobody would know. Okay. So 
<laughs> well, I was going to say, I was going to say I had a couple of digs here. I was going to say, well, one, nobody would actually want to see you in your skinny jeans. So I'm, <laughs> I'm glad that you wear a robe. <laughs> that is a truth. That is There's, a truth, my friend. There you go, right there. But then also I was going to say, well, that's because you wear the robe to detract from the fact that you wear such fancy sneakers so that you won't be caught oh, up on creatures and sneakers. Is that it? Is that that's what, what it is. So the, the robe okay. actually detracts because nobody would actually expect you to you oh, know, be rocking the, the high man. end gym shoes. You are, you, so that's, nothing, nothing gets by you, Jay Witt. Man, you that's are, what I'm here. I'm investigating journalists. 